In the golden age of Muay Thai, Long Suan was a Muay Cao monster, the embodiment of encroaching danger with a clinch like a Venus flytrap. A forward-moving stadium terminator, fans knew him as the heartless knee striker, or Mr. Mean for short, and no doubt he lived up to that name. Long Suan had insane knees, the kind that everyone tries on the bag to feel cool, but that almost no one can pull off in real life. Treating his competitors like a piece of gym equipment, he would use them to support all of his weight, launching into positions that would be physically impossible under normal circumstances. All to load up his iconic, painful knees. It's a rare fighter that can load up on their strike as much as humanly possible and get away with it. He supplemented these terrifying knees with some of the best boxing of his era, catching opponents with rattling combinations that could be just as devastating. Being stuck in the ring with Mr. Mean was like breathlessly treading water in a violent ocean. The lapping waves knocking you off balance and throwing you into the rocky cliffside. His action-packed style made him a fan favorite, and won him prestigious stadium titles across three weight classes. His crowning achievement came in 1987, when he was awarded the Fighter of the Year. Lucky for us, Long Suan transitioned to coaching following his illustrious career, teaching multiple generations what it took to deliver such relentless ferocity. And thanks to the Muay Thai library, we could learn the secrets behind his iconic knees from the master himself. Once latched to his opponent, he would turn and take a large step back. This created a new offensive angle, unbalanced his competitor, and created plenty of space to generate force. That's all pretty common. But unlike your typical Muay Cow fighter, the heartless knee striker wouldn't throw right away, instead delaying his opponent's punishment. He would add on an additional beat, hopping back and extending his back leg to fully load up his strike. Since the opponent was too busy carrying all of Long Suan's weight, they couldn't take advantage of his pronounced windup. Just as his opponent was wishing they hadn't skipped leg day, Mr. Mean finally unleashed his pent up strike but the knee itself also has some pretty unique mechanics. Long Suan is very adamant about completely folding the knee, squeezing his heel to his thigh. Done midair, this created a violent pendulum effect that helped swing his weapon into his target. He added one more hop on impact, just to make sure he was thoroughly crushing his opponent's midsection. With such a dramatic, complicated, and committed knee, Long Suan put the beautiful brutality of Moi Kao at his finest on full display. The crucial component for this mid-air mobility was the iron grip he locked onto his opponent's neck. His favorite way to capture a foe was the double collar plum, squeezing his elbows together like a bear trap. But he wouldn't simply hang his weight around his opponent's neck. No, he would shake them back and forth like a wolf finishing off its prey. After yanking the opponent forward, he would immediately shove them back with his forearms, off-balancing them and then slamming them into another knee. Here we can see him instructing on how to execute this strategy. He would use this push and pull rhythm for one of his favorite sequences. Hopping in with a massive whipping knee, and then following up with a short, sneaky knee on the other side. Mr. Mean thinks that knee fighters don't stay on their toes anymore like they should. And looking at these sequences, we can really see the point of keeping light on your feet. When he couldn't secure a plum, he wasn't out of options. Long Suan didn't desperately hold onto his ties. He instead took what he was given latching on to anything his competitor provided. The man was an opportunist, 
able to find grips and holds as he constantly changed positions, whipping opponents and landing knees along the way. For example, if an opponent got his arm inside of his collar tie, the heartless knee fighter turned it against them. He would wrap that arm or secure it in place, leaving them unable to defend their ribs on that side. If he lost the clinch entirely, he could work back in with well-timed teeps and punches. And when it came to punching, Long Suan was a fistic nightmare, one of the best of his era. He could shut opponents off with hard, lengthy combos and could seamlessly mix in his knees. But his uppercut was especially lethal. He could expertly thread it between an opponent's guard or underneath an incoming punch. But he explains that his favorite trick was to uppercut just as they were thinking of driving up a knee. This is very practical. If you want to dominate in a certain area, you definitely don't want to give your opponent the opportunity to compete there. Long Suan was a truly one-of-a-kind knee fighter with an expert clinch and some of the best punching of his era. And today, we're lucky to have his tutelage and frankly, not have to share the ring with him. A huge thank you to Sylvie Von Douglas Ito and the Muay Thai Library for granting me access to their expansive and important archive. I've linked it below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian wishing you happy training.